All right, guys, so I'm not sure if you heard about the new guns coming out from Iwata. They got a new Series 2 of the WS400. They got a base gun and a clear gun. And last night I seen the video on YouTube. I'm gonna leave a link in the description. Check that video out. Really nice, cool video on where they started and different products they make. I didn't know they were into air compressors in the beginning and they do a couple other pumps and different things, but they're coming out with two new guns and I'm definitely gonna try to get my hands on them because I've got quite a few Iwatas now and I'm definitely a fan of the Iwata. And I definitely like the Iwata for the clear and it looks like they've adjusted the new base gun to spray base better because they realized that that fan was too big and it had you know high and low spots on the end of the on the end of the pattern that was giving it kind of a bad pattern so they've tightened it up a little bit widened it and they've got it dialed in a little bit better for the base so we might check into one of those but we're definitely going to check into the new clear gun and uh you know they're probably not going to be cheap but Definitely a well-made gun. And you gotta watch when you buy the guns that are cheaper, cause a lot of them guns aren't compliant in the US. And that's why you're getting those guns for a cheaper price. And don't get me wrong, they spray beautiful, have a great pattern and everything else. They're just not probably certified from the US to be sprayed. So be careful spraying them in a shop. You know, to you guys at home doing it at the house, it's not really that big of a deal, but on a professional level, you wanna make sure your guns are compliant. So. I'm gonna be picking up one of them new guns, trying it out, and we'll definitely do a video on it. But I'm spraying this here today. We got RR. We're gonna shoot this little quick one. Nice on a Friday. I got a big day ahead of me, and uh, let's get into it. All right, guys, so we're getting ready to seal this one, and I'm actually using my Iwata, and that's my old clear gun that you guys know I use, the WS400. Really good gun. It's been around with me now for about 10 years and it's still working well. I just retired it from clear and made it a sealer gun just because it's beat up now and old. And it could spray a little better, but it does a great job with the sealer. And I'm just putting on a nice coat of sealer on this one. This was just a two panel job and it's the three stage RR. But see how nice they lay out the product, the Iwata. Just a really, really well developed gun and uh, we had a couple dirt nibs in this one so i went ahead and i started scuffing it lightly with some of them super flex uh, films that i got from norton that they came out with i'm really enjoying those for the uh, base and the sealer if you get a nib in it this it doesn't gouge it because it's flexible and it really works well so i'm just running over this one quick while i was there i knocked down a couple small nibs that i seen and then i tack it back off and get rolling on it but i was real happy when i seen that gun that they're coming out with now for the clear uh they they say it sprays a lot better than the old one and it's got a cool digital uh piece that comes off and on so you can clean the gun and we'll see how that works out i'm not too sure how that'll be but they have a couple things they're doing to it to definitely make it better and i'm definitely going to get one so We'll get it, we'll try it out, and we'll see what it does. But I'm just putting on a nice coat of the uh, base now, and I'm using my 3M gun with the 1.4. So I'm not sure I'm gonna pick up one of the base guns just because it's hard to beat these 3M guns with these heads, so you don't have to clean them, you just take them off. Gun spray is great, and why would you wanna clean a gun all day when you can pop a new head on it and roll? So. You guys know I leave my guns loaded with colors because I have four of the 3M guns. So I have them designated for each colors. And I just basically, if it's silver, purge it and keep rolling. And they work great. So they're hard to beat. And they're only about 250 when I pick mine up. So I'm definitely going to get the clear gun because I've always loved the Iwatas for clear. And who knows, maybe I'll try out the base gun also. But... We're just putting two coats of the uh, base for the RR down and then we move right into the candy. I put two coats of the candy on this one. Don't forget to check that video. I'll leave that link in the description below on that video. It was cool. They got a lot of setups all over the world, Iwata does, and they have different languages they're talking about in the video, but don't just skip through and watch the whole video because they show all different stuff in it and it really is cool to watch but 
we're going to put on the candy and then we're going to be clearing it. So hope you guys like this video. Make sure you stay tuned this weekend. I'm going to have some of the video of the golf cart getting that thing tore down. And we're going to put a nice candy brandy wine on that one. And then uh, get that golf cart up to date. Make it look real nice for that woman that's going to be enjoying it. So stay tuned. And you guys will see this one here at the end all nice and shiny and clear. This car was beat up a little bit, but... There's nothing you can do sometimes. Some of these cars, people just use them and abuse them, but we still got to do our job right. So I had this color uh, sprayed out before. You guys seen that big truck job I did, that RR, and uh, that variant works really well, especially when they have a little bit of a fade to them. I use that variant that I used on that truck. So right now we're just finishing it up, and I hope you guys liked it. Give it a thumbs up, and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe and check out the uh, website I have, candyland.com. I got merch on there and you guys might be interested in that. So we'll see you on the next one.